Okay, now the um, frunk is out, you can see where it's leaking. You've got coolant and you can see how low it's actually got. It's got a lot worse. Um, so this is the thing that's leaking. I've got the replacement part here. There's the part numbers for you. And that's the old part numbers. So basically there's four pipes that go onto this and it's held in on this bracket. So I've just got to take these, um, take these bolts out. It looks like there's the torque so sockets. And then hopefully these will be good enough to take the um, pipes off. I've got to take the electronic connector off as well. And you can actually see, once you've pulled this out, there's actually coolant on the actual plug. It's leaking from the electric bit, so it's really bad. So that will be drying out. Um, so let me get these torques off. careful you don't drop them down there somewhere so I think that's the only the only, the only screws holding that on so it's just held on with these two torques and now you can see it's it's loose it's just held in by the pipes themselves so now we've got to clamp these pipes and um, take the clips off and just swap it all over Open. Well, I think there's, there's a couple of different mounting points for this, for, I assume for different models, but it's just the, I think it's the bottom, yeah, it's the bottom, the bottom ones there, um, will just go back on. So to take um, these off, I've got these, um, these pipe clamps, so you just, you can basically clamp the pipe to stop any excess fluid coming out. And I've got these um, pliers here, which I'm just going to use to undo the clips. So you put the clamps on the two pipes that are going sort of to the battery and from the tank. So obviously we don't want all this to drain out down here and out the top. So that's the first one. And then I'll take these clamps off. So it's just a case of pulling each one out it's clamped so the bit there's going to be a bit of fluid that will drop but then i can put it on the new one which is waiting there there we go let's put my thumb over it to stop yeah and then i can just quickly clamp it onto here there we go it's pushed on so now we have the next one which will be on this one here so that's that one there so I'm gonna pull that one off next so this one I pulled the clamp off so this will now just pull off and then that one goes onto this one here All right, so now you can see I've done that so I've got the last two now so I'm hoping <laughs> I can now pull these because these pipes come over here. There's a there's a clamp there that's holding that in. So might have to move that. So that's the next job. So a little screwdriver just to prise prise that out of the frame, and then you can just basically pull everything this way. So now that's loose, so the whole old pipe can be moved over to here and that allows you to get these pipes off and clip them on there. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's those two now on. So it's all basically sealed back up. There's the old connector. Let's take this out, get that out of the way. Put it down on the floor for now. So now I've just got to put the clips back in and then that will be all sealed up and then I can take these clamps off. Because even though these clamps are off, you still do get a little bit of leakage through, um, which means it drip, drops down. So, And also, I haven't got enough clamps to clamp all of these, so you've got to be quick when you take these off and quickly get them on the other one unless you've got um, more clamps. Um, but that's fine, I think. All this needs cleaning up a little bit. Now put back into position. Just want to make sure they're all tight and all nicely secure, um, which they are here. So what I'm going to do before I screw this back on, I'm going to wipe all this down. But I can take these off now. So, because it all gets a bit greasy and messy coolant is quite slippy so take them off so now I'm going to dry everything up I want to dry that electronic connector up and then clean all this up because I've got a little bit of spillage around there clean up best I can and then I'll screw the, the valve back onto that bracket As you can see here too, there is some corrosion in that socket where it's been in the water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to very carefully clean it out and use some um, electrical contact cleaner just to try and clean those connections up before I put it back in. I've just got a little pin which I'm just going to pop in things, try and clean out the blue stuff. Okay, so although not perfect, that's certainly a lot better. So that could now be clipped back on. You've got to make sure this clamp here, the seal, is nicely pushed in as well. There we go, that's nicely in. So now I've just got to put the bracket on and then we can top up the system. Okay, so now we've got to top up the system. Um, this is all in all finished, it's all secure. We connected our pipe clip down there, so that's back in position. Um, the electronic connection's nicely pushed in. Everything's all solid. I've dried up as much as I can around that area. So yeah, it's just a case of now um, filling up the coolant. As you can see, we replaced that one, but there is actually quite a lot of these valves all dotted about, which I assume at some point may suffer the same fate of the 41. I'm not sure. The only one I've really heard of failing is this one. Um, but yeah, let's top up the coolant. So the coolant you want to use is this stuff, G48. Um, this is um, for Teslas and various other marks as well. Um, made by Comma, this one, Extreme G48. But any G48 should be fine. It's the same colour. And we're just going to undo the, the top here. Make sure nothing's going to fall in, the, in there because that will really ruin your day. Um, and then just top it up. I think I'll top it up sort of that non thing first and then just run it and then top it up again once it's had a chance to sort of go through the system because there will be a little bit of air in there now we've pulled those pipes. You know here the system going through hopefully this will also bleed it should see some bubbles come through here as it gets fed around the system. You can often help it just by squeezing the pipes as well. That will just help the 
all the fluids flow round. Let's give them a nice little bit of a squeeze. Now you're in service mode, you can click this cool and air purge. So you click that. Cool and air purge routine powers the accessory rail maximum speed. Routine takes about 15 minutes. Power to gate with unlock with key authenticated. Hold right indicator and press brakes for eight seconds. So push the brake, right indicator, eight seconds. And then start. So that's now running. Assume that's what it's doing now. So we leave that going for 15 minutes. And hopefully that will purge all of the air out the system. You can certainly hear it doing various stuff. I haven't seen any bubbles yet. I'm actually going to top it back up to max. I think, as you can see, there is there is movement in there. You can see like bubbles, it's very very fine bubbles. So, it does seem to be doing something. Okay, whilst that's um, doing the purge, let's inspect this old part, shall we? So that's how it sort of sits on the car. You can see all the wetness, but most importantly, you can see the wetness on the actual contacts in there, which is really bad, really bad news. So this thing just leaks badly. I don't know if these can be fixed because it wasn't actually well I think it was leaking out one of the sides here it's probably not worth fixing but it does look like it comes apart so whether you can get new seals for these possible but it's probably not worth it so that's the it's made in Mexico well that one says made in Korea so we've got assembly in Mexico made in Korea see it's a little bit rusty there where the screw is so yeah not great but we'll take that to bits in a bit and just have a look um to see what's inside before we um discard it just out of interest so you can still hear the new part whirring away there so this was made in mexico Enough, not career. So it's possible that this is a revised part. It is identical. Uh, does it have the same different part numbers as well? One, two, seven, oh, one, oh, 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 slightly different part number. As you can see here, this one's three, three, oh, oh, one, and that one's one, oh, one, eight, one, sorry, one, 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 three, three, oh, oh, one. So this one's got revised um, part number. yeah i think that's it for today guys so um please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video Bye for now like and subscribe
that's it finished.